Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. In today's video, this is what we are going to create. This was something very easy I was able to come up with inside of Canva and I want to show you how you can also create yours and please after you create yours make sure you are tagging me so I can see your version of today's design and before we do that if you're on the free version of Canva I have a special link in the description box that can help you upgrade to Canva Pro for free so let's dive straight into the video. The first thing we are going to do is to come to create a design and just search for Instagram view. Okay, so view and we should see it over here. So select it and you should have a blank canvas. Okay, and make sure you also have four photos you want to be using and all photos should have the same dimension. Okay, but if they are not having the same dimension, I can also help you do that. Don't worry, I'll guide you in it. So yes, this is what we have at the moment. The first thing we we'll want to do is to work on the background. So come into elements and just search for platform okay so platform come into photos in photos you should see a lot of images in here but i would go you know similarly with the same one i use or you can use anyone at all that you feel catches your eye okay you can choose there are so many options in here so just choose the one of your choice so then make sure you are making it the background image okay or you can simply right click come to set image as background and you should have it just in case you want to adjust double click and you can adjust it okay yeah so after you do that make sure you're coming into your uploads to select the images you want to use okay so in my case i want to use some of the designs i used okay and before we add the extra three what you're simply going to do is to come here into border style make sure you're choosing the line border and the corner round you can add you know just to make it modern so something like this is fine then come to the border color and choose any color but i would go for white with this particular color so you can see what we have at the moment make sure you're reducing it small okay yeah so something like this should be fine okay then okay i think everything is looking great so what we can do is we can duplicate this four times okay so we have this is the second one this is the third one and this is the fourth one okay so all you can just do is to click and drag okay so you see we have replaced it then i will also select this you know and drag it here then maybe this and this into here so this is what we have at the moment now the next thing we are going to do is to arrange the images in a way that we can animate them okay so this is what you have to do so move a, any of the two images side by side okay so you can see how it's looking at the moment it should be side by side then select the two of them by right clicking coming into layer then come to show layers okay you should see them so with the two ones that are over here okay select press and hold shift and select the second one so you see we have it like that then click on any of the angles okay the angles over here click on any of them and press and hold alt okay and reduce it okay so this is what we have at the moment then what you want to do is you would want to bring it behind okay behind the first image then this is going to be the last image so place it in here select any of the corners press and hold i think you you rather have to press and hold alt first okay so press and hold alt and click and drag okay so we have something like this but i'll reduce it a little bit more uh -huh. so something like this then right click come to layer come to show layers okay then you send this to the back okay at uh, the back of everything so this is how everything is going to look i think my image is looking too big so i would detach it first of all okay and um, just have it maybe somewhere here like this send it all the way to the back okay so something maybe like this then the background color uh, let the background color match this one so i'll come to colors come to add a new color and i'll use a color picker okay to select this and everything should match as easy and beautiful as this so you see this is what we have at the moment now what we have to do is to duplicate this page so you can use ctrl d or you can just click here then you see duplicate page okay nice one so 
we are going to move all of this four times okay so the next thing you have to press is shift arrow okay to add these rulers okay then move them like this okay just click and drag from here all right so you see what we are doing and bring this here and also bring this here okay nice one then the second one bring them down here and and just come and add another one over here okay yeah so that we can just use these guys to allow us move things beautifully around okay so you see this is what we have at the moment so we can see from the first page over here this was the first image so in the second slide we want the first image to move here this image should come to the first page you don't worry if you don't understand i'll just make sure i explain it easily for you so move this one over here okay then make this one bigger okay so just make it bigger okay so very big so it should match the size of the first one okay so bigger nice one then we can make the main image smaller okay so make it smaller and make it match the one over here okay then this second image now becomes the first image okay now the image behind remember we have an image behind that would come here okay then increase the size okay so that it matches this okay then with this particular image would have to go in the background okay so we'll bring it to the center over here and make it smaller okay so we'll make it smaller in here then we'll bring this one over here then what we are simply going to do is right click come to layer come to show layers okay show layers then this particular image would have to go behind okay behind the first image and this one would have to go behind all three images okay so you can see now image one has now moved to this area okay and image two which was here has now moved here okay don't worry you would understand it soon so it's like we are moving everything manually then after we animate we add the animation to make everything look beautiful okay so we have to do it four times so that we can have a full cycle okay so now coming over here select this particular image okay move it here then select this one and we are simply going to increase the size to make it big like this okay so once you make it big you want to move it to the center okay then make sure you're selecting the one behind and move it here increase the size okay so we have this now that's the size okay lovely jubbly then we have this one as well we'll decrease the size okay then with this one was here we move it in the center and make it smaller i hope it's very because this one has to now go behind okay so that's what we are just trying to do then we move this backward then this one is the one that has to go behind all three then we move it all the way to the back okay then this one will also come to the back so you can see how it's looking so we've done the third one then we now have to do the fourth one okay which has to do with this one going through all the full cycle and coming to the front okay yeah so the third side we are going to duplicate this again the page again then we select this particular image move it over here okay and make it what smaller okay so smaller like that then we bring this one okay so let's move this one here first then select this bring it to the center then you increase the size okay then let's right click and let's come to show layers then we have the one that was way behind we move it over here okay and increase the size okay then we have another image this particular one would now come behind okay so something like this then we decrease the size okay then we move it all the way to the back and we move all this one to behind the first two or it should just be behind this particular one so we've actually made a full cycle okay now the next thing i want us to do is to add a shadow over here so let's come here into element and just search for shadow okay so shadow then we are simply going to look for any 
shadow okay so we have some shadows in here click and drag it okay we have it here now then we are just going to decrease the size okay and also try to take your time when you are searching for this shadow so you can find okay i think this is appropriate because of how the images are looking okay so yeah then we come here and we reduce the transparency so you have something like this okay lovely so if you are struggling to center this just come into position and come to arrange then select center okay so yeah that's what we have at the moment now what we are simply going to do is to add the final touch which is animating making sure it moves seamlessly okay or creating that animation so come into the first one okay and hover in between you should see add page and add transition make sure you're clicking on add transition okay then come into match and move okay so you select match and move for the first one then come to apply between all pages so select it and it should be here okay so if we are to play it this is how it's going to look like so you can see the first page and this is the second page so you can see it's moving very very nicely nice so what you can also do is if the duration is too much for you you can just adjust the duration okay for all of them okay so you just adjust the duration like this okay then select this and i hope i didn't move anything behind okay yeah so then move this then select the shadow copy it okay using ctrl c come here paste it come to second page paste and the third page paste it okay so let's play it again and let's see so this is the first one the second page okay then we have the third page then we have the fourth page and this is what we have been able to create inside of canva i hope this was very easy for you to follow and just in case you struggled a bit or maybe you have some questions you want to ask me make sure you leave it in the comment section below and make sure you also tag me in your version of what we have created today the name is benjamin oh remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video